Solana's the fastest horse, and if you didn't buy within the last few days, you've probably missed the bottom. But I still think there's plenty of opportunity. Let's go over that today. This is your daily crypto update. It's the 7th of August. So firstly, having a look, we can see Bitcoin's up 4%. ETH is still lagging. It's really lagging. I don't think it's going to do as well as we were hoping this cycle. But Solana is just tearing ahead 9.4%. It's just rocketing. Might be some other things happening well, like WIF. WIF is uh, it's gaining a decent amount of traction as well. But of course, zooming out to seven days, there's still a decent amount of red in the market. Let's touch on a little bit of Bitcoin news. So I'm pretty sure something is happening behind the scenes. 405,000 Bitcoin has been moved to permanent hold addresses over the past 30 days. And it's clearly accumulation. We'll know within a year because typically they hold for a certain amount of time. And then down it goes. Within a year, some entities, whether they're TradFi institutions, co companies, governments, or others, will announce they acquired Bitcoin in quarter three, 2024. And then retail investors, they unfortunately, they would have missed it. In terms of on-chain data summary, you can see a hash rate recovery. I haven't got a picture here, but when the hash rate goes down, obviously because it's not profitable, when it goes up again, it means it's profitable. It's worth actually doing. Whale accumulation. And there's still this retail absence. And this is an interesting point because retail investors are mostly absent, similar to mid-2020. And although there's a lot of predictions suggesting essentially this cycle goes into like mid next year and then that's it, maybe it goes longer. Like the reason I say this is if we have a look at 2020, maybe I'll just show you here with just Bitcoin, go to max. So in 2020, we started to have a small little rally and then down and then it was just straight up. But this up only kind of period happened. Essentially, this was kind of the top, right? And then it did actually have another bounce up. But this was, this was basically, this was, this was quite long. And then even though this had its top, there were still gains in the market with like Terra and other stuff like Steppen came along. There were still other things that people could rotate their money into. So even though we've got this, we've already had this major move up from like down here and up we've gone. And there's some people calling that this is going to go down. And then we're basically similar to this 2019 period. And then we have to wait to go up again. Maybe, just maybe, because cycles, they rhyme, they don't repeat. And I still believe they're heavily just introduced by whale activity. Essentially, we could do whatever the whales decide. And then it could just be a literal cycle from here all the way to the end of 2025, not just mid-2025. So the reason I say that is because they haven't been able to attract retail yet, but they will be able to. So the whales will, of course, keep the cycle going longer because they will make more profit. Anyway, there's some bearish things as well. Macro risks, of course, like, you know, jump trading recently and Binance hit uh, year to date highs in daily deposits. When people move to exchanges, then they start to sell. And of course, you know, World War Three or the Middle East issue, that is, of course, a bearish thing. But nevertheless, the actual ETF consumption with BTC is massive. So there's 450 BTC mined daily and it's just being bought up. People will, of course, sell, you know, whales are going to sell, but it is being bought up. Now, Blunts, who initially said that Sol is done. This cycle, it's done. It's not going past its all-time high. And then maybe he changed his mind or maybe he didn't. But he says right now that he doesn't think that Sol is going to go down to $95. $95 is off the table. It's done on sweeping the lows. It may not be advice that you want to follow. It's just a trader's advice. He does a particular theory. Sometimes it works out for him. Sometimes he thinks XRP is going to do very well and it doesn't, right? I guess I'm covering this just because it gets a lot of traction and I'm not trying to amplify him. Just he can trade. Most of the time he's exceptionally pro profitable. And here, maybe his thesis will start to evolve on the fact that he thought Sol was like tapped out. And maybe as it starts to move higher, he's going to issue a new bit of technical analysis that invalidates his initial technical analysis. And the bottom has happened. We could always bottom again in the future, but I don't see the reason necessarily why. And these are the returns of the bottom. So if you were a little bit greedy when everyone else was fearful, you would have done quite decently. We're actually even higher than this now. So you'd probably be up like 40% ETH, BTC, and then what has sold. There's plenty of other ones. However, we're going to show you the year to date in a second. And it's, it's quite crazy. Everything is, of course, up. Like, And some things are up like 40%. When we have a look at year to date, though, this is one reason why, as much as I want to cover lots of different ecosystems, the ones that have potential in terms of blockchains being able to onboard lots, they have like difficulty with their tokens. Like Aptos is still down 44%. Sui is down 23%. Injective is just like, I don't know if it's going to onboard lots of people, but this was a lot of hype. There's a lot of hype here and it's just bleeding. Ton is like one that I haven't been following as much as I would like. 
but because it's linked to Telegram and lots of people use Telegram, I think it's worth having a little bit of ton, maybe more so at that dip. And then Sol is obviously where the party's at. And then you can see with so many other things as well, like look at Link. Link was like this poster child back in 2020. Uni, Lido, Pendle's done well, Aave's done okay, SNX. Like these are the ETH DeFi OGs. Solana DeFi, Pith has not done well, but the other ones have, and so on and so on. In terms of AI, in terms of AI, they haven't done very well either. Meme coins have done well. So just year to date, when we look at these things, I think that's a, a better tell of what's to follow. The conclusion from Nachi is this is just a time to buy soul. Buy your soul, stake it with validator.com. Easy peasy, not financial advice, but it is literally what I do every day. Now we could be seeing some more kind of aggressive buying coming because the market is currently calling for a rate cut in September. We don't know if it's going to be 25 or 50 basis points, but either way, these rate cuts mean that there's more money that comes around. People can afford more things. Your mortgage payments go down, etc. Now, the next bit of news, let's talk about Bank of Japan. So they capitulated at 10.36 a.m. Won't raise rate when market is unstable. Here's a, an article on it. And then they folded, essentially. They, you know, they started to put up the rates. It just created chaos amongst everything. They just can't do it like that. And then they capitulated and it's a bit of a V-shaped bounce. And then all of a sudden the Japanese yen, which was growing stronger versus the US dollar, just, just dumps 2%. And then the stocks in Japan are pumping. This is very crazy that the Bank of Japan capitulated in 48 hours doing a U-turn. Uh, Blunt thinks it's a, it's a green light for the low bean in. I just think it's strange that people can't model that if they do this, what's going to actually happen to the stocks and the, the economy in general. The annoying thing is you can't just like, obviously you don't want your currency to deflate away, but it's been done like that for so long that there's no solution to get on track. The only way to do it would be to increase interest rates, of course, try to get down your national debt. And then as you do that, the entire economy will just suffer. And then you'll look like a terrible president or prime minister. We have some other interesting news. Eric Trump has fallen in love with crypto and DeFi. Stay tuned for a big announcement. Trump, real Donald Trump, and Donald Trump Jr. This is crazy. Big things coming. This is the future from Donald Trump Jr. Once again, absolutely crazy. Now, as I showed you in the opening scene, Whiff is picking up and Blunt Sinks $10 is inevitable. I'm still far more bullish on Bonk. And I'm not just going to go and buy Whiff because someone says it's $10 is inevitable. But this may be something you want to put into your research. I'm personally doing a $10,000 into a $100,000 challenge. This is a lower risk thing. You're welcome to follow along. Hopefully you can build some things. Of course, none of it's financial advice. We will win some, we will lose some, we'll be rugged sometimes. It's all about just keeping something interesting and just injecting little bits of alpha in there, like how not to get scammed, how to take profits, all these sort of things, which take a little bit of time to learn. There'll be some people that say, why don't you do 1000 or hundred dollars or one soul into a, a million soul or whatever. Those things are exceptionally hard. The risk you have to take is too high. And most of the time you will fail. And the people that tend to do them are anonymous people on Twitter that if it really backfired, they could just close it. There's no, there's no downside to them other than they get great engagement and they may get lucky. Ansem has literally said in posts, if you just jump into meme coins all the time, first time you may have got lucky, second time you're in the right group of friends to pump your bags. That's how it works with meme coins. So follow along with this. And if you can't do 10,000, maybe you can do a thousand or 500 and then just factor in whatever you want to do and you can choose pick and choose whatever things i'm doing later today 2 p.m utc there'll be a spaces with the jupiter exchange team it's not going to be a planetary call this week it's just going to be a spaces so the planetary call is cancelled next bit of news drift just a reminder here if you have some pyusd you can go to camino of course however if you go into drift they've got a very decent apr and also pro tip if you deposit pyusd to earn daily rewards you get the chance to win a mad lad so I'm not sure how that works, but someone's going to win a Mad Lad. Snapshot will be taken in one week. So we've got our final day, probably today or tomorrow. If you go via Lulo, I don't know if that's going to qualify. So if you've got a little bit of PYU, you may want to inject it straight into Drift directly. NFT news, Magic Eden has just changed their Emmy Foundation name to Emmy, me, or sign, maybe signifying that there is a, a token coming soon. Seems me is coming, as I said, quarter three. So if you've got any diamonds or if you trade NFTs, probably now is the time to unfortunately just give Tensor a little bit of a rest and just go to Magic Eden and to farm or accumulate as many diamonds for their launch. I've got very few diamonds. I never claimed them at the right time. I didn't think it would be an expected thing. So we'll see if they have like some sort of, if you've created content for Magic Eden or whatever, maybe I'll claim some diamonds that way, but I doubt they'll have anything like that. 
Next bit of news, the lucky dragon tail. I've already mentioned this a few times. I understand that. I know it's repetitive, but you need to build your dragon. You've got like a day or so to get into bonk bets. I don't have a, uh, a VPN on. Rather, I'm not in a different country, so I can't actually see this. But we've got 10 hours and 29 minutes here before August 7th to maybe like get a little bit more of an amplify. But then we still have tomorrow, I'm pretty sure. Then you go to bonkdragon.com. You put in your wallet address and you can see the attributes that you have. You want to build this entire dragon. I have not built my whole thing. I'm hoping that we do have some sort of reward in the future, even if we miss some. Like if we have to get every single one and we accidentally miss one, that's going to be a little bit brutal. But still, I would try and do bonk bot if possible. Soul Big Brain has found something really cool. So a huge shout out to Sona Watch. I found so much money I had forgotten about from my heavy soul DeFi usage back in 2021. Now I show how to use uh, this in this challenge. So we've got like two different things. We've got Sona Watch. You can see it shows the entire portfolio balance. And then unfortunately with Step Finance, it doesn't. So it shows a lot of funds missing. So Step Finance needs to up their portfolio game. Still a great tool, of course, but sonar.watch has just led the way in the recent few weeks this will be linked below but you should have a look at this playlist here this is going to have a lot of stuff on the jupiter exchange channel about how to do things how to set up a wallet how to use an app how to do swaps how to do dcas how to do bridging all these sort of things they have low views at present but that evergreen content this is stuff you can just refer to whenever you need a tutorial and if i don't do the tutorial myself on my channel there will normally be a tutorial over here so Bookmark this, and specifically the video you want to watch on Sona Watch is this one. The video will be linked below, but how to keep track of all your crypto wallets. Intro here, Step Finance, and then Sona Watch. And there's actually a tool here, which I think I cover from memory, where you can actually link different addresses. Maybe it's over here. I can't really recall. Make too many tutorials. Either way, Sona Watch is cool because you can save addresses and you can actually save multiple addresses, and then you can just check the bunch of addresses. So if you've got 10 addresses, you can plug them all in and you can see everything in those 10 addresses. So go and grab all of your addresses, plug them in here, work out if you've got some lost DeFi position somewhere and go and withdraw that. If they're rubbish tokens, sell them, put them into Sol, go and stake your Sol. Next bit of news, all mining, it is underway. I haven't done a tutorial on it, but it's for a very legitimate reason. There are some tutorials out there, plenty actually. However, if you do it via the browser, it doesn't work. Even if it shows that it works, most of the time it's just not working. So this is one that shows how to do it. And overall with ore, this is a point from Soul Big Brain. Basically, people will soon find out if fully diluted valuation is a meme or not if they're buying ore. I'm thinking about buying some ore actually, but at $480, it's a $10 billion fully diluted valuation. Yes, I know full supply will not be circulating for a long time and circulated market cap is low, but with new supply hitting the market daily now, I am not sure there is enough sustained buy pressure to maintain price. I like the excitement or has bought to Solana and has introduced a lot of people to money again. But at a 10 billion fully diluted valuation though, I see this is tough to get people filthy rich like BTC did, which is what creates the cult. Of course, this is a longer term thing and I initially wanted to show you how to do it just so you learn a new skill. However, because we have to send priority transactions that cost more soul and lane they dip their toes into ore mining after two hours of mining they spent two dollars and ten cents worth of soul and they've earned 13 cents worth of ore so that's why i'm still pausing it just putting out some feelers to work out how worthwhile is it for me to make a tutorial to try and teach you final bit of news before we jump into the actionables if you have any drift tokens that are appearing in your soul flare or phantom wallet it says Make sure you go and claim your drift. You've got nine days, six hours, 23 minutes, and 11, 10, 9, 8 seconds to actually go and claim them. There's been a decent amount that have been forfeited, but there's still 5% unclaimed. This token's around like 25 or 30 cents, and there'll be viewers on this channel that would not have claimed their drift. So go and claim your drift. Actionables. So watch my 10K to 100K challenge video. Take part in Infinix's path to patron. The deadline is August 16th. I'll do a little video on how to do that. Deposit some PYUSD into app.drift.trade. Do your bets on bonkbets.io using your Bonk Dragon wallet. The deadline's August 7th, apparently 10 p.m. UTC. The researchers just updated that. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. If in doubt, do it before that. Claim your drift from drift.foundation. And airdrop actionables, sign up to Cube to exchange and complete quests. Within 48 hours, there will be a tutorial up. If you're good with NFTs at, you know, not losing money, Look into Magic Eden and actually accumulating some diamonds in the last maybe month or so. Who knows? Stake Bonk with BonkRewards.com and build that Bonk Dragon.
That's it for today. Catch you in the next video.